Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ujwal and in this video, I will be discussing about my personal experience in Concordia University. So I will start from my beginning of the journey. So I came here in fall 2021 and we were the batch of COVID which traveled from the third country and I, we went from uh, one country to other, from India to some other country and then from there we came to Canada. So I went from uh, India to Maldives and from Maldives I came here to Concordia, like to Canada. And after that reaching here we started doing our uh, house hunting for 15 days and then we found one home and after that we shifted to the permanent house. So then after that our, my, our journey of masters in applied computer science my journey started in that so i took two courses in the first semester and to be honest it was really really hectic because of the projects and assignments there were too much of pressure because uh, in india we were you we were not aware of this type of curriculum so it was literally a little bit hectic for me it can depend upon from one person to other person as well because of the experience they have from india as well because some people already have a lot of experience in the field but I was uh, I was a person who was having no experience in India with the company, uh, so that's why I was feeling it a little bit hectic. But after all, like I just managed the things and it kept working out. Now I will tell you about um, the courses, uh, what type of courses, how I took the courses. So in the first semester, I took two courses, and and then it, which which were advanced programming practices, and the other was distributed system design. In the second semester, I took two courses again, which was problem solving and the <clears throat> second one was artificial intelligence. So these were the four courses I took completed in my initial two semesters. And after that, uh, in, in January, I took three courses where one was software design methodologies, second course was software project management and the third course, uh, if, um, Yes, so the third was software mining and analysis. So these were the three courses that I took in winter. And after that, in summer one, I took my last course, which was uh, this recent one from uh, named as, because all the courses have the name as software, software, so it's confusing to remember the name and flow. So the course name was some uh, software advanced architecture. Yes, that was the last course. And after that, my degree was completed. So I'm happy, like I am graduated now. I started from Masters of Applied Computer Science, but uh, after a year, I transferred my degree from MSCS to Software Engineering SOEN. Now, this entire journey was really uh, not less than a real uh, roller coaster. So, the first semester was everything was pretty online. In the second semester, things went offline, and then we had a choice uh, also in few courses that were online as well. So, we opt the courses according to our priorities whatever we want to do whatever have to be completed now if i will talk about the types of assignments and projects that i have done uh, i will give you an example so in artificial intelligence there was an assignment of pac-man game so we, we used to play in video game so in that game we we had to complete two tasks which was bfs and dfs with those algorithms we have to make that tiny ball so like that has to be something like bfs path has to follow and dfs path has to be followed so this was one of the project in artificial intelligence assignment and the project was a uh, face mask detection with which has to be particularly n95 there was a data set different type of data set so people who have n95 mask people who have the other mask so that has to be detection this this was one of the other project in artificial intelligence so each subject has different type of assignments and project this was the AI. Uh, if I will give you the other example of uh, distributed system design, in that uh, we made various assignments, five assignments were there and one project was there. So assignment was, I will tell, uh, it was a sorted chat app. One of the assignment was that. The other was we have to just complete the Java task. And then third was, uh, <clears throat> and then uh, fourth was something like, I remember, And, so, and the fourth assignment was something related to matrix. So something like these types of assignment we did in DSD and project was uh, open-ended because uh, there were various topics. So we had to choose the topic. Upon that topic, we have to build the project. So 
now a bit difference about uh, MACS and SOE in is MACS is mainly built upon the coding skills, pure coding skills, which has to be something related to industrial uh, industrial protocols, like the way it is used in industries. It is uh, distributed. The code is distributed in the OOPS concept and is distributed into various files. So that this was done in the soft uh, MACS. But in SOEN, the things were little uh, towards theoretical side and project was not really into deep coding. So I will give you an example of software project management. This was one of the course in which uh, we were giving the task to do the code. We were open to use any language. It was basically we have to build a medical app website, we can say. So in which counselor and doctor and patient can consult with each other. So we were open to use any language. So we had to build that project entirely with the help of code. And then uh, the, uh, after this, we were also having a theoretical part in the same. So there was no uh, there was there were no restrictions on this how to have how we have to code but things should be working so that was towards the software engineering side also one interesting thing is the courses which i knew better i was getting less grades and the courses which i didn't knew i was getting better grades this was very unpredictable because of uh, the grading system and the relative grading in the class so that is also important how to get good grades it has some tricks has to be followed to get good grades that is really important so this is particularly my experience not everyone's experience it can vary from one person to another as i told i didn't have an industry ex industrial experience so it may vary from one person to other as well So there was also a time when I sat in library all days and night and doing the assignments and projects. So, uh, but also it is going to depend upon your friends, type of friends you are making so that they can guide, not giving you the assignments, but at least they can guide you a bit. So they will make your life journey easy if you have good friends. Otherwise be prepared because you will be facing a lot of difficulties. So be prepared for all of these things. And I hope you wish you all the best. Have a good journey over here. And I have you. Um, it was a little difficult, but after all the difficulties, path these these difficulties, everything makes sense. So let's hope for the best and very very all the best to you guys.